We're going to turn now to those extraordinary interviews with Jacqueline Kennedy, recorded almost 50 years ago and kept locked away until now. They are being released in a brand new book that will be out on Wednesday, Jacqueline Kennedy, Historic Conversations on Life with John F. Kennedy. And they are the basis of a fascinating ABC News special airing tomorrow, hosted by our dear friend, Hello. Diane. Oh my god. Second to be back with you. Always. First of all, Jacqueline. Well, Jacqueline. We're saying That's right. You know, we called her Jacqueline or Jackie, Jackie, but her name was Jacqueline. That's how mm -hmm. she pronounced her name. That's what she said. And so we thought, these are her tapes. This right. is her moment. Let's give her her name back. I think people are going to be stunned when they hear her and they hear what she has to say. She is a brilliant, funny, and and at times unsparing observer of human nature and human foible. How did these interviews come about? She decided to make them for history, for or an oral history project. She did them four months after his assassination. Mm. So she still has his life and their marriage fresh in her heart. And you'll hear all of that in her voice too. And it is when you hear her voice and you get a glimpse of what life was like for mm -hmm. them in the White House, don't you? You do. And, and we, we're used to seeing the glamorous Jacqueline Kennedy. And this is like sitting on a sofa with her and having her tell us, for instance, what it was when his advisors had to go in and use his bathroom at the White House. <laughs> and you can listen to the tape. Okay. He'd get up a quarter of eight, you know, reading 50 morning papers. And I always thought it was so funny uh, for people who used his bathroom that men could use after dinner, because all along his tub were all these little floating animals, ducks and pink pigs and things. <laughs> and you'd hear this roar, <laughs> full blast of cartoons. This awful exercise, man. Then you're left like Jack Lillane. One, two. I mean, he'd be telling uh, Caroline and John to do what they were doing so they'd be lying on the floor. He loved those children tumbling around him in this sort of s sensual is the only way I can think of it. Then he'd always come in before he went over to the office. You know, come into my room. I mean, I'd only be half asleep or else I'd be having breakfast. And you know, one of the things you hear on these tapes during the course of our two hours tomorrow night is a journey she takes from someone who was a witness to history to someone who is going to make history and find her own voice. And there is a moment in this portrait of the marriage that she gives. It's the Cuban Missile Crisis. It is arguably the closest the U.S. ever came to nuclear war with the Soviet Union. And here is what she says to him. I could tell from his voice something was wrong. I hear them talking through the door. And I went up and listened and eavesdropped. I could hear Matt and Mara saying something. And then I thought, well, I mustn't listen. And I went away. But from then on, it seemed there was no waking or sleeping. And I just don't know which day was which. Well, that's the time I've been the closest to him. And I never left the house or saw the children and when he came home if it was for sleep or for a nap I would sleep with him. But I said please don't send me away to Camp David you know me and the children please don't send me anywhere if anything happens we're all gonna stay right here with you you know and I said even if there's not room in the bomb shelter in the White House which I'd seen I said please uh, then I just want to be on the lawn when it happens no, but I just want to be with you, and, and I want to die with you, and the children do too, and live without you. It's such a blend of historic events like that and their personal life. That's right, and it's all tomorrow. And, and I'll, I'll show everyone tomorrow a little bit of what happens when the children wander in, including when little John wanders oh, in and goodness. is asked, where is his dad? All right, so you'll be back tomorrow, she said, Diane, and the special is tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. 9 p.m., two hours mm -hmm. here on ABC. Thank you.